TV shows that you're on. You're on Thick of the Night. Oh, yeah. Right? You're oh, right, yeah. You're rating for that. That's the dude from Growing Pains, right? Alan Thick. Alan Thick. I used to love him. And Wonderful I, guy. And I saw that show. And I'm not really into late night shows. Um, but I liked him. In fact, it's it's very corny, but I thought this was so funny as a kid. His show's starting up. You know, I knew him from Growing Pains. And he points to like a milkshake, uh, a milk truck. And it says uh, Thick Shakes on it. Uh-huh. And he goes, uh, that's my name to some guy. Like, that's my name. Almost. And the guy goes, shakes? And he goes, no, thick. And I'm uh-huh. like, I like this guy. Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you're ready for that show. You're on uh, George Carlin Gets a Sitcom. You, yeah. You're ready for that, and you appear a couple times. How do you land that, the George that Carlin show? Total, How do you work ne- out? Total, out? total nepotism, and we loved it, and we laughed about it, man. And he came up, and he said, uh, hey, man, I'm getting my own show. And I said, hey, cool, you know. He says, and you know you're on it, man. I said, oh, yeah, what do I do? He said, I don't know, but you get 500 a week. I said, fucking <laughs> sign me up, bro. Do you, do you ever say, hey, can you make me the bartender or somebody that's no, on regularly? Oh God, no. Because no. it wouldn't be your place or you, you don't uh, care? Uh, I, I don't. I, I, it's not a thing I gravitated toward. Uh, I'll tell you what I did do. Uh, I'll tell you what I did do. I kept it real on one of those episodes because they had one where George was a taxi driver. Right. And he hung out in this bar, which was very much like the Moylan Tavern that it was patterned after. And uh, they were celebrating in there. And the dudes who were running the show and all, they were going to have it be a bunch of Irish guys around singing, uh, when Irish eyes are smiling, you know. And I said, wow, you know, man, I said, uh, I said, you know, that ain't the kind of song these guys would sing, man. I said, they would sing a song more like this here. And I said, I had a hat when I came in. I hung it on the rack. I'll have a hat when I go out or I'll break somebody's back. I'm a decent man, I am, I am, and I don't like to shout. But I had a hat when I came in, and I'll have a hat when I go out. And they just took it, and, and we went with it, right. and they dropped me in with the cast to uh, to sing along with it because cool. I had a green shirt on, you know, and I had, uh, mm-hmm. like, uh, this here tat was showing. I said it would look real, uh, real believable. Tattoo on your arm. Yeah. What does that say? It's uh, two hearts, man. You know, this I'm a traditional dude. Right. Uh, it's it's two hearts, and it says Patrick and Marlene. Oh. And with Patrick on top, and you can see how traditional I am. That's Jesus the, Christ, the you are in good shape. That's the missionary style, right? Are you seeing this shit? So yeah. I, I come home with this. This is 1991. And I come home with this beauty. I'm so proud of myself. And I, said, <laughs> I said, hey, Marlene. I said, listen, hey, Marlene, look at this here, man. Look at what I got for you, man. Patrick and Marlene with the two hearts. And she says, well, it's your arm. <laughs> uh, but then she told me later she really did dig it. She really yeah. liked it. That's yeah. cute. Do you know that Lauren's falling in love with you this whole show? Who's that? <laughs> Lauren. Good for her. <laughs> you got a taste for quality, Lauren. <laughs> what's, what's the other the other? Uh, oh, this tattoo? here one is- uh, Says George on it? This is, says George. I got this like about six months after George died in the tail end of 2008. He How died. How did he die again? He had a heart attack about his fourth one, mm. and it was the degenerative heart uh, tripper. That you, you know, there's an, a special name for it, but it's you don't. It can't be arrested. It just goes and gets mm. it done. And he used to joke about that. He'd say, "I got dad's dirty veins, and you got his dirty temper." <laughs> and we would laugh about that. But I got this after he died, and I put the reefer leaves there. See, what's right. what's on top of there's the reefer leaves next to the name, and what is that? What's on that? Top, that's the hermit from uh, from uh, the tarot deck. The hermit, oh. and he's got like a little thing that he holds up, and instead of the light in there, I got a tiny green shamrock in there. Cause uh, what the hell, we're Irish, man. You don't want to forget a little bit of that. What's Are the those- hermit mean? The hermit was a guy who, in the tarot deck, he's in the uh, the major arcana or whatever they call it, where you get your pictures and all, and he's like a, a wisdom. He's like mm. wisdom, you know. Okay. And George opened the door to me on so much stuff. I mean, I couldn't make a list of the things he made me aware of without without ever making me feel like, you know, anything weird, you know, or right. like a, that I was bad or something. Was there ever any resentment 
secretly that uh, I'm older for God's sake. Oh sakes. my George God! George is the one making it. No, no never, never for a moment. No. Why, why are you so healthy? Ah, <laughs> uh, like I, you know, I don't know. Maybe privately, I'd be like, oh, my younger brother's fucking making it. I'm, I'm trying to. What, what's going on? Uh, I sound just like him. <laughs> no, uh, no, because maybe because he left the door open so much for me. If I wanted to go down that trail, who is the greatest comedian alive or dead of all time? Oh, I'd say my brother yeah. George. Will oh. there ever be another George? Oh, I think there will be another person on that scene, right? Uh, because uh, he'll be seeing it from his perspective, I which remember, is fine. It's so funny. Like, I mean, he had so many CDs, of course, and it's funny hearing some of these, you know, around the class clown era, that kind of thing. Yeah. Where it's like, it, it, almost like a prophet in that I remember him making up, the, you know what, the, we have this dumb TV show now. We're going to have a TV show where, uh, and, and it's almost like he's like he's dead Pressing. on, like, like he's fucking with us that he just put this CD out and he's acting like it's old. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Like, and a guy comes on, there's going to be 20 chicks and uh, he has to pick one. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. He was, he yeah. was fucking brilliant. Keep in the girl.com.